Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive into the world of QR codes and we're going to explore the zcrossing.net library. And we're going to be creating QR code generators with the help of Visual Studio 2022. So without further ado, let's jump on in. The first thing you want to do is set up the environment of your Visual Studio 2022. So to do this, we'll install two packages via the NuGet package manager. The first one, type the following code in the package manager console. All right. And then next we'll install the necessary bindings with this command. Okay, so now that we have our packages installed, let's start writing our code. So open the program CS file and make sure you have the following uh, directives at the top using system.drawing and using zcrossing.qr code. So first we'll declare a byte array named byte array. Uh, which we use later to store the QR code image data. And then we'll set the width and height of the QR code to 250 pixels uh, with a margin of zero. Next, we'll create a new instance of the Zcrossing barcode writer, writer pixel data class and configure its options. Then we'll generate the QR code with the content apkzalmi.com. So now let's create a bitmap from the raw pixel data and save it as a PNG file. In this block of code, we'll create a new bitmap copying the generated QR code pixel data into it and then saving it to a memory stream. And finally, we save the QR code as a PNG file to the local drive with the name generated PNG. So let's go ahead and run our code now and then we'll wait for the process to complete. All right, we'll navigate to the file location and check the generated QR code. So this is the code uh, generated by the Zcrossing library. Uh, we've seen how to use zcrossing.net library to create QR codes, so we'll explore another option, which is Iron Barcode. So we'll compare the performance of both libraries and see which one is better for our needs. First, you need to install the Iron Barcode library from the NuGet package manager. So let's go ahead and dive into the Iron Barcode code. So make sure you have the following uh, directives at the top of your file, iron barcode and ironsoftware.drawing. So we need to set the license key for the iron barcode library. You should replace this license key with your own if you're using a licensed version of iron barcode. Next, we create a QR code using the create QR code method of the QR code writer class. The method takes a string as input, which will be encoded into the QR code. And in our example, we'll use ironsoftware.com. With iron barcode, you can easily add information and text above the barcode. And here we set the margins and add a text annotation. And then we save the QR code as a PNG file. Iron barcode also allows you to do some styling, such as changing the color of the barcode and adding a logo image. So here we create a new QR code logo object and then generate a QR code with the logo using the create QR code with logo method. And then we also set the margins and change the barcode color to dark green. The logo uh, is then automatically sized and snapped to the QR grid. And then we save the QR code with the logo as a PNG file. So now that we create a QR code, let's read it using the iron barcodes barcode reader dot read method. And the method takes the file path of the QR code image as input and re, uh, returns the decoded text. So let's go ahead and run our code now and wait for the program to complete. All right, let's see the QR code generated by Iron Barcode. So these are the codes generated by the Iron Barcode with styling. Uh, they look good and easy to generate and decode. And they're far better than Z crossing uh, QR codes because uh, they're just a better choice for advanced customization and ease of use uh, for your QR code generation projects. All right. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for some more videos from Iron Software. And if you need any help, 
As always, our support team is standing by, ready to assist.